entrance antiphon. Here is a wise virgin from among the number of the prudent who went forth with lighted lamp to meet Christ. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, as you and I come to this holy place, um, we continue to realize that we need uh, the um, grace and help of the resurrected Lord. And so we just pray for that grace in our lives every moment of every day. And so, my brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Let us pray. Be present to your family, O Lord, we pray, and graciously ensure those you have endowed with the grace of faith an eternal share in the resurrection of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. There broke out a severe persecution of the church in Jerusalem, and all were scattered throughout the countryside of Judea and Samaria, except the apostles. Devout men buried Stephen and made a loud lament over him. Saul, meanwhile, was trying to destroy the church, entering house after house, and dragging out men and women, he handed them over for imprisonment. Now those who had been scattered went about preaching the word. Thus Philip went down to the city of Samaria and proclaimed Christ to them. With one accord, the crowds paid attention to what was said by Philip when they heard it and saw the signs that he was doing. For unclean spirits crying out in a loud voice came out of many possessed people, and many paralyzed and crippled people were cured. There was great joy in that city. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let, Let all, all the earth, earth cry out to God with, with joy. joy. Shout joyfully to God, all the earth. Sing praise to the glory of his name. Proclaim his glorious praise. Say to God how tremendous are your deeds. Let, Let all, all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all on earth worship and sing praise to you. Sing praise to your name. Come and see the works of God, his tremendous deeds among the children of Adam. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. He has changed the sea into dry land. Through the river they passed on foot. Therefore, let us rejoice in him. He rules by his might forever. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy.
Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Everyone who believes in the Son has eternal life, and I shall raise him on the last day, says the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with, and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never hunger, and whoever believes in me will never thirst. But I told you that although you have seen me, you do not believe. Everything that the Father gives me will come to me, and I will not reject anyone who comes to me, because I came down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of the one who sent me. And this is the will of the one who sent me, that I should not lose anything of what he gave me, but that I should raise it up on the last day. For this is the will of my Father, that everyone who sees the Son and believes in him may have eternal life, and I shall raise him on the last day. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The first reading talks about persecution against the church. And I often think about that because um, people often talk about that. And they talk about it very often as if it's this um, thing that we can't fight against. And sure, there is persecution in our church. There's uh, persecution all over the world. But in America, especially, and in many other countries in the world, the greatest persecution comes from inside of our church. Let me explain. A lot of the um, things that are hurting our church comes from within her comes from people like you and me just being lazy not praying not doing charitable works not uh, voting as a Catholic person um, not standing up for Catholic um, um, uh, beliefs not spreading joy not spreading the uh, the um, gospel and so we need to be careful about pointing the finger to everything else we point the finger to social media well there's more catholics in america than any other faith so if we put catholic stuff on social media every day positive joyful stuff we would rule and social media would actually be positive. We say by, by TV or the radio or wherever. We're all over the place. We're all over the place. Catholics are all over the place. We can be a change. So if we want to continue to blame everybody else, that's great. But that won't get us very far. We also need to look at ourselves, at our own hearts, at our own actions, at our own thoughts. And I'm not only talking about you, I'm talking about me as well. We have to wake up. Because if not, we're just going to be persecuted. We're going to be a victims. And that's something about Jesus Christ that was so beautiful about his crucifixion is that he chose it he walked it step by step now did he um did he uh, want it to happen no because it was going to hurt but he chose it because he loved us he chose to love can you choose to love can you choose to be a follower 
of Jesus Christ. Persecution, yes, it happens. Yes, we get made fun of. Yes, people will scream and holler at us, all kinds of crazy things. But does that matter? Because that happens anyways. So let us be different. Let us wake up. And let us be that good soil. Let us be that good joy, hope, perseverance, positivity out into the world. Let us be Catholic and be publicly Catholic. Let us spread this good news that our God is the bread of life. He is everything. And that that's all that anybody has to have. And so, my dear friends, we stand and turn to our God who is our everything. For Pope Francis, Daniel Cardinardo, all bishops and priests, along with the whole church, in this season of Jesus' rising, let us all trust in his power to lead us to the light after this darkness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, light shining in the darkness, you lead your people into life and give our mortal nature a gift of holiness. May we spend this day in praise of your glory. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Lord, you walk the way of suffering and crucifixion. May we suffer and die with you and rise again to share your glory. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Son of the Father, our Master and Brother, you have made us a kingdom of priests for our God. May we offer you our joyful sacrifice of praise. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. King of glory, we look forward to the great day of your coming in splendor, that we may see you face to face and be transformed in your likeness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For Holy Rosary Parish, the whole the whole world and that those infected by COVID-19 will be healed and those who have died will see God face to face. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the prayers we hold in our hearts that we offer in silence. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, help us to answer your call each and every day and help us to spread the good news of your life in all of us and we ask all of our prayers through jesus christ who is our god forever and ever amen, amen. blessed are you lord god of all creation for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be, God be God forever. forever. and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the, the Lord accept, accept the sacrifice at your hands, hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant we pray O Lord that we may always find a delight in these pastoral 
mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right and, and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of old to fulfillment in the reality of the cross and by commending himself to you for our salvation showed himself the priest the altar and the lamb of sacrifice therefore overcome with paschal joy every land and every people exalts in your praise and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy Therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, O Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and to minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and of the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, O oh Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Daniel, our Bishop, and all of our clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, 
her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with St. Wenceslaus, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and, and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine, teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all our distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you.
communion antiphon. The Lord has risen and shown his light upon us, whom he has redeemed by his blood. Alleluia. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. So, I have some homework for you. First, put a positive message on all your social media all across all your instagram facebook all of them all about hope maybe prayers of hope positive messages all that kind of stuff um secondly go to bible study at one o'clock right <laughs> deacon brick's gonna do that he's pretty good at that bible stuff so you might want to attend you know right all right so um go to that and um and just be okay and stay close to god okay so that's your homework. It's not that hard, right? Spread the good news, right? The Lord be with you. And with your, your spirit. spirit. And may Almighty God bless you abundantly, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Hallelujah. 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 And as always, we turn to our Blessed Mother and we ask her to pray for Holy Rosary Parish, for Holy Rosary, for St. W, and for Holy Rosary Catholic School, and for all of those who have no one to pray for them. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry for banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O most holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. 